What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the left side of the map in the red color playing as Kronos. His name is Shelty the Snake Shelton. His opponent today in the blue color playing as Odin. His name is Grand Monster. This is the third, fourth place match for the Vubly Champions League season number two. It's best of five. My God, these guys, this close to getting to the finals for the big dollars, but they fell short. Grand Monster losing to Scardi in like pretty pretty uh, convincing fashion. And Shelty almost taking the series against Kimo. One of the closest, closest series of this tournament for sure, going to five games. Every single game could have gone either way. Uh, and now we'll see how this final game is going to go. We've got Grand Monster. He's playing Odin. He's been sticking with Odin for the entirety of this Champions League. I think we've found throughout this Champions League that, in general, multi-god players do better. Um, though, that being said, there's a couple of Odin players that got into the top eight. So we had Rappel and we had uh, Grand Monster. Um I think that was it for the Odin players, but they were mono Odin players. There's other players like Shelty. Um, I think Scardi might have played some Norse in there as well, uh, who, um, who who picked up uh, some of the Norse gods. But I, I don't think there's many players who are mono gods who got into the final in the top eight. I think Player got there and Matrius. A couple of mono gods. But Odin's been doing well, represented. Uh, quite, quite nicely. Thank you so much for the five months, Ricky G. Appreciate you, my friend. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how this is going to go. We do have Shelty going into game number one with Kronos on Alpha. And this is a very, very smart idea. Knowing your opponent's god helps out a ton. It gets you, it, one, it allows you to prep whatever you want against your opponent. Um, and then, ooh, is he cut villagers? It looks like he's cut village, but it, he, it allows you to prep whatever you want against your opponent. And then sort of, uh, then, then, you've got, then you've got the edge when the game starts. So you see Shelty going up through Prometheus. He's going for a Cronus Rush here. This is a old school Cronus Rush for uh, five villages. So he's going to have two villages on wood, two villages on gold, one villager on food. And he's going to attempt to kill Grand Monster. Now, if we remember back to Scardi versus Grand Monster, Scardi beat Grand Monster in about 10 or 11 minutes, specifically, every single game with rushes. Uh, and uh, in fact, was what was very much making the case for Grand Monster struggling against the early aggression. But we are seeing Grand Monster going through Heimdall this game, uh, obviously prepared to uh, against this Cronus Rush that's coming in. Lots of villages on gold. I really, really like this from Grand Monster. Overgather gold before your opponent comes in and pushes you off it, and then you can jump onto your cows and uh, and fight back a little bit later with the extra units you can build. You'll probably see Grand Monster also throw down his uh, barracks. Some looks like Shelty trying to find where the temple is. He's actually not going to be able to find it, so it should be um, should be a Einhiar popping out here. And not only that, those Oracle Scouts here, they're feeling some pain. So we'll see what's going to happen. The Promethean coming in, going to come over and hit the Skrellin. The village is pulling back. We do see a uh, killed off Oracle there to get the full HP one there from Shelty. Nice play. And Grant Monster just moving calmly back over onto this location. I would love to see a wall get thrown up here. This is something I don't see enough from players when they're facing these. You small wall here, small wall over here, and it's really hard for the Promethean and everything else to get in there. But there's the Longhouse coming down, the Temple getting deconstructed as well. No uh, no more Myth Units or, or uh, Hursa coming out of that temple there for a little bit and there's the counter barracks coming down for shelty is coming and he's going to be hitting this location we do see the undermine coming down onto this counter barracks is that going to be enough it's going to be awfully close and he does manage to kill it what incredible play from grand what grand wants to kill two counter barracks Shelty's not aware of that interaction there. Undermine 
does full damage to those those um those buildings the time shift in obviously uh, and then it kills it off and then the next one comes in and that undermine is still going undermine does infinite damage until the uh the timer runs out there is no maximum damage that undermine can do uh it just keeps going well i, I guess in that sense there is a maximum but my golly gosh grand monster absolutely shutting down this uh, this Chronos Rush uh, that Shelty is bringing here. And now this is going to be up to Grand Monster to take his advantage here and push forward. He's got all this hunt on this side of the map. This is a very, very good hunt map for uh, an own player. We can see Grand Monster immediately moving over here, sending the Ox Cart. He's going to start getting going very soon. Now the turn are coming out for Shelty. We'll see how he's going to go with these Terma here. But it's going to be Terma against Ulfsark, obviously. I think that's that's got to be a given. Like, Odin has shown time and time again against Aranos, but the Ulfsark are more than enough to deal with those Terma, especially with Lone Wanderer and, uh, and how much that helps out. Husbandry coming through for Grand Monster now. Um, and there's the Lone Wanderer. That's going to put these Ulfsark, uh, Ulfsark up from 4.8 speed to 5.2 something speed. And that's going to be absolutely huge because that's going to allow those Ulfsark to move forward to hit the uh, the Terma uh, and not take damage from them. We are seeing these Terma making their way in, going to be trying to hit the raid over here. There's an iron here already over here. Nice damage dealt onto one of those Ulfsarks as Lone Wanderer is coming in. And there's a bunch of units over here for Grand Monster. He needs to bring them back. Surely he knows the term are coming into this spot, and they are, and the Old Suck retreating away as Lone Wanderer is just about to finish. The Iron here are moving in here, taking a lot of damage from those heroes, but the term are going to be pulling back now as the Old Suck moving in. Nice micro from Grand Monster there, dodging a bunch of those arrows as Lone Wanderer comes in. Now the slow Kronos Terma will get chased down by the Old Suck, unlike Uranus, who can sort of hit and run still with the 5.5 speed terma these chronos terma don't have that bonus 10 percent move speed so they've only got five speed so it hurts even more but one thing that chronos does have over aranos in this matchup is the ability to make cairo ballista these units here a little bit cheaper than as around us, and I believe they move faster as well, so they're a lot easier to protect. So we'll see if that's something that Grandma, uh, so, sorry, that Shelty is going to abuse or not. And now we see Shelty coming back in, going to again attempt to get some fights here. He's going after that Einhar, will be able to snipe that one there. And the Ulfsark retreating back. And there's the medium infantry coming in. Grand Monster playing this nicely. Beautiful walls thrown up over here as these villagers happily gather. And Grand Monster will need to take this fight here. But he's going to want to wait until that medium infantry comes in. Sneak around. He's got 12 Ulfsark against basically 14 Terma here. So the Ulfsark win this very, very hard. We are seeing that uh, Grand uh, that Shelty is going to attempt to take this fight here. As the Ulfsark come in with their upgrade, the Promethean in the back here is going to be doing a lot of damage. You need to get that Hursa uh, to come over and target this one. Meanwhile, these Terma are getting absolutely bodied and Shelty is uh, this fight here is not a fight that he wants to be taken at all as Ulfsark will continue to get spammed out from those longhouses here. Just about to, to finish this fight off but it's looking like all of the Terma do fall here with, with a Grand Monster with somewhat of a significant population lead here as all of those units do fall towards the end of that fight. Shelty going to be retreating back. He's got some catapulties out, but these units don't do anything against the Ulfsark Flood. You basically need to get out Kyra Ballista and, um, and Kyra Ballista, Prometheans and Terma, or even Mermillo if you're going to start making some food-based units. But the Kyra Ballista may just be for... Um, for the slowing down of those, uh, just basically have a melee unit to slow down the the speed of the opponent's units. And we'll see what's going to happen here as Shelty pulling back. We see a huge score advantage for Grand Monster. Oftentimes, the problem in this matchup for the Odin player is how does he finish it off? Uh, and generally speaking, the easiest answer here is to either just run to race to the Heroic Age, get his Frost Giant spam, or just get two town centers or three town centers spammed their way to the Mythic Age. 
and we'll see how this is going to go. Now, as the, there's the Cara Ballister, and you can see 4.24 speed. That's a bonus 0.39 speed on the Cara Ballister. They've got um, also the reduced resource cost, so a little bit under 200 resources. So it's just a little bit easier to make, but still still a, a high priority unit for uh, the the Norse player to focus down because it's going to do a ton of damage. Now, Grand Monster sneaking around with these Ulf Sark. We do see Shelty has noticed this raid coming in. Going to attempt to chase it down, but he can't. Or he shouldn't really bother just shooting volleys at the Ulf Sark here because they're going to just going to be able to dodge everything. More Carap Helty's getting built, and I think he's even got. No, he doesn't have medium inventory. It just kind of looks like it. And now it looks like Shelty moving out again. The villagers finishing up on this location may want to attempt to move forward and grab those elk. But Grand Monster hasn't done it just yet. He's just looking for his raids, trying to find some kills over here. He has spotted some villagers in this location here. Small units getting trained by uh, by Shelty in an effort to stay alive. And now we're going to see the units come around the back and attempt to cut off Grand Monster's retreat, but maybe Grand Monster doesn't care. He's got an Iron Hiyar in the mix here. The Ulfs are coming after these villagers that have to garrison into the Sentry Tower. Nice micro from Shelty. More term up falling. We do see the Kyrobalista here almost falling. One HP remaining here. As of the term are coming in, going to be hitting these the uh, this Iron Hiyar. Going to attempt to kill that one off very quickly. We do see a second Iron Hiyar is already here as well. We see some hero catapulties coming in in an effort to take down the Iron Hiyar. We've got L Trimmer coming through as well so that's huge for those iron yard they're gonna do tons more damage and and, and uh tons more blowing of the horn all of the other good stuff and shelty does end up tapping out there in the 11th minute of this game gg well played by graham monster absolutely destroying this chronos rush making it known that he knows what he's supposed to do in order to completely shut down uh, the Atlantean, uh, oh, the Cronus specifically, time shift strategy here, utilizing that, undermines, completely shut down the term of production, giving him as much time as he needs to set up a defense, and then managing to get all of his hunt over here, even some of Shelty's hunt, and it was too much in the end there, or too far behind in the end there, for Shelty to come back, and Grand Monster gets number gets game number one. If you guys enjoyed this uh, this game, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next game.